Lesotho is one of the countries that is known for its abundance of water. There is a lot of water, especially in the in the mountainous areas of the country. My name is Matidiso Makwili. I work for Mentolong Authority. The government undertook a, a huge project a few years ago called the Lesotho Highlands Water Project. The main objective of that project uh, is to build dams in the highlands of Lesotho. The lowlands areas of Lesotho have been uh, having shortages of water due to drought, due to rapid industrialization, due to migration from the, the rural areas. Uh, as a result, the government undertook an initiative called the Lowlands Water Supply Program, whose main objective is the supply of water to all the lowlands areas of Lesotho. The water from the Metolum program is mainly meant for household use and also for industrial use. The situation of water here is very bad because people, when they need water, they have to buy it. Uh, my name is Manka Intoto. I'm 26 years old. I'm studying honours degree in entrepreneurship at Limco Queen University of Creative Technology. I'm living here at Hatetani in Maseru. The water supply is not reliable at all. Uh, after um, 7 in the morning, they start to have shortage until 5 o'clock uh, at p.m. Uh, our company is uh, located in the uh, Tetsani industrial area in Maseru and uh, employed uh, about 4,000 uh, local employees. My name is uh, Joshua Anjangu. Uh, I'm working for CGM Group company. We are the manufacturer of uh, the jeans which uh, mostly are exported to overseas. The water supply we have uh, in the industrial area here in Tetani is not sufficient to run the whole plant. And sometimes there is water outage, and then you'll find that you'll get a lot of uh, damages. Uh, as a result of the of construction of the Midolun Dam and related infrastructure, there is going to be impacts on the lives and the environment in the Medolum area. As a result, the Medolum program has a, an environmental and social management program whose main objective is to, imp, uh, to mitigate against the impacts that the Medolum program is going to have on the environment and the people of the Medolum area. <laughs> All the households in the catchment area are going to have access to electricity. There's going to be roads around the, the catchment area. There's going to be uh, bridges. There's also going to be improvement in the clinics uh, that uh, are already present in the, in the catchment area. Uh, our hopes and expectations from Metulong is that, uh, are that we'll, we believe that we will have constant water supply throughout the month, throughout the year. And we do have a hope that the Metulong will supply the industries and we are very hopeful that uh, once the Metulung comes 
in to intervene with the water solutions, then we'll have a, a bright future for, for our companies. The project is also, the government is also hoping that through the Metolum program, there's going to be improvement in the livelihoods of people in the lowlands area, which are currently struggling with access to water. I hope Metolong is going to eliminate the water shortage in this country. I expect it to do, to fulfill our hope as we hope for. Yes.